Hi, my name is John Baranski. I teach eighth grade math, uh, algebra, and geometry here at Washington. Uh, all three classes are going to be using curriculum through Open Up Resources. Uh, middle school, it's been called Illustrative Mathematics, and in the high school curriculum, we've been using MVP. They're now both under the Open Up Resources banner, but they're pretty much still the same programs although they do have a much better online component, so that's good. But it's, it's essentially the same curricula I've been using. Uh, I know the high school is, uh, Olympia is adopting big ideas. I'm going to wait until next year to adopt that because they don't have books or training yet, um, and I'm familiar with MVP. So I'm going to do this one more year before I switch over next year to big ideas. Um, as far as what we're going to be studying in class, and I've, I've thought it's really interesting as I've been prepping to teach eighth grade that eighth grade math really covers a lot of the same material that we teach in algebra and geometry in their first two years of high school. It's just a little more shallow and introductory. So um, it's really kind of a pre-algebra, pre-geometry class. And what I think is neat about it is if kids are really successful in there, they should be ready for high school math uh, for sure. Uh, algebra, we focus on kind of relationships with linear, exponential, and quadratic functions, as well as systems of equations, but uh, mostly using graphing, doing story problems, solving those different kinds of functions. Uh, in geometry, we do a lot of work with two- and three-dimensional figures. We do proofs. We do constructions. Uh, later in the year, we get into trig, trigonometry, and conics, so it kind of then, so later on in the year, it wraps back around and we do a lot more algebra again, which is good, getting ready for Algebra 2 next year. Um, I know the past couple of years have been pretty tough for a lot of students, so I'm going to be doing a lot of formative assessment this this uh, year to see if there are weaknesses I need to fill in as we go. Uh, I feel like students never... You never have a class where everyone's learning at the same pace. So that's just not how people learn. But I feel like with distance learning, kind of the gap has become a little worse. And so I'm really going to try to work to fill those things in to make sure everyone's ready uh, for their next year as we move on. Uh, high school, the high school, or sorry, the high school classes should have about the same amount of homework. Uh, basically, pretty much every day they'll have homework. Most days, the high school classes will have homework. Whereas eighth grade, it'll be a few times a week and generally less questions. Uh, the homework grades are based on completion. It is very important that the homework is done. I look at homework as an opportunity for people to make mistakes, so I don't grade it based on, like, your grade is not how many did you get right, but did you do them all? Did you show work? Do you have explanations? That kind of thing. Um, and then it's on the tests that you need to not make those mistakes. You need to show that you've got, uh, you know, computational fluency, that you understand the concept, that you're accurate, all that. Uh, there are retakes for tests, though, so if students... Uh, have a tough time they can retake uh, i will have a schedule for that they can generally retake before school or after school i used to do retakes at lunch that's not going to happen with the four lunches though right now that's a little wacky um if students have to miss school they should check schoology that's where i post all my assignments and where i have my learning resources uh, i know there's going to be times this year where students might have to miss for example two weeks if that happens and they need more help than what's given on Schoology, just please contact me and we'll see what we can work out. Uh, the best way to contact me is through email. And you can also email me through Schoology. I've been noticing that's what parents have been doing a lot uh, lately. So again, this is John Baranski, math teacher. Thank you for watching my video. Let's have a great year.